Bang, the world's first scientific musical. I wondered if you wanted to come and see it with me. <laughs> wow, Harris. A grossy art centre surrounded by a bunch of mouth-breathing science nerds. What a romantic date that isn't. Obviously it isn't a date. Is it, Dexter? No. No. Of course not. I meant as a school trip. With students. Music and science bringing the departments together. Oh, right. So if it was a history or sports-based musical, you'd be asking one of us. Of course I would. Absolutely. Well, I'm very flattered, Mr Harris, but uh, you're really not my type. <laughs> so, what do you reckon? OK. Yes. Could be fun. Uh, I'll mention it to the kids. A boring theatre thing. Why would anyone want to go to that? Well, this is an educational anthem. Because they're two things that go well together. Come on, guys. A bigger bang. I promise we'll have a laugh. You don't have to go to the theatre for a bigger bang, Dex. You can stay right here for one. Nero, <laughs> can you not? <laughs> oh. <laughs> two bigger bang. <laughs> Last week, it was fish breath. Week before that, they were comparing your face to a posterior. It's a total breakdown of order. Let's not overstate it. But you're still no closer to catching the culprit. It's only a matter of time before we catch him. Oh, her. Let's talk his sexes. Did you see who did this? We just got here. And just in time to pay our respects. Phantom sprayer. We, the students of Elmsmere, salute you. Mr. McPherson's asked for you. Says 9A have locked him outside this classroom. Not again. Whoever's doing this, it's got mad guts. If nothing else. Who was that? That's Carson. Eloise Henry well fancies him. Everyone fancies him. Bunch of sheep. What? You don't fancy him? No. Just one of those uber handsome, charming boy band types. Well boring. So you were just asking who he was out of random curiosity. I just ain't seen him around before, that's all. Why the five million questions? All right, bite me here off much. <laughs> You okay? Yeah, it's probably my fault. Never look where I'm going. I'm Carson, by the way. I've noticed you around. Your Clem. Awesome name. What do you think? I hate it. It's short for Clementine. Could be worse. Could be called Tangerine. Then you'd be known as Tanj. <laughs> yeah. Dodged to bullet there. So, it was cool to meet you. Clem with the awesome name. I've got to get off to EFAC. You know EFAC, right? Totally. I heard it was meant to be totally awesome. I'd love it if you came along. Yeah. Guess I could. <laughs> Welcome to EFAC, the Ellesmere Fundraising Action Committee. Uh, why is she here? She's a troublemaker. Clem wants to get involved and be part of the EFAC team. Right, Clem? This is absurd. How could a fancy a school loving nerd frighten? Do I really like him deep inside? I got teased, that's fine. The real me, tough to a T. 
pretty goody I'm pretending to be. Am I gonna go against all I believe just to impress a boy that's so weak? But maybe that's just what everybody does. Aren't you supposed to do anything for love? Go to any lengths, no matter what happens. Fight the biggest battles, slay the biggest dragon. Love is a challenge, that's how the game goes. Climb any mountain, even volcanoes. But how can I sign up to a group that supports a school? That's too much. Isabel? Sorry, Carson. I've got a feeling you're gonna fit right in here, Clem. Me too. <laughs> Thanks for getting me grounded. I was meant to be at Eli's. You should have thought about that before damaging school equipment. How could I think about it? What happened to that drum was an accident. Yeah, well, it's funny how these accidents always happen to you. Oh. Right, I'm gonna go make a cup of tea. And no, I'm not making you one. Oh, total botch, you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. CJD and Zuna Street Dance Showcase the same day that Bigger Bang thing is on. I'm so gonna go. But aren't you grounded for murdering that drum? Yeah, but I ain't grounded for educational trips. A street dance showcase is not an educational trip. No. But Dexter's Bang thing is. Come on, I sign up for that and then I can sneak out to watch CJD and bust in moves. Oh, and I need you to sign up too. I'll sign up, but I'm not sneaking around. I don't need to cause trouble to validate myself, thank you very much. I only need you to cause a diversion so I can bunk next door. I'll do it. Can I pretend I get stung by a wasp and then faint? Yeah, knock yourself out. <laughs> Not sure I want to do that. Wow. Exactly zero takers for your ridiculously boring trip, Harris. <laughs> hmm. I guess it'll just be me and Lizzie then. Sort of like a date. Oh, kiss us that, Dex. <laughs> yeah, cosy. Just you, Lizzie, and these three idiots. When you've done this, there's more in the boys' toilets. Do we have to? It smells like something died in there. Something big, like a bull. It's your job. Is that the list for the trip? You'll need more students than this if you're borrowing the school minibus. It's hardly an effective use of school resources. How many? I'm having a bit of trouble. Unless ten students sign up, the trip is off. Ten. She is in a right mood today. Suppose, must hack you right off, living on a bum farm. Lay down it now. 50p to stay up and do knitting and crocheting, then we'll raffle off what we make. We should have a kitten day where we bring kittens to school and people pay to play with them. <laughs> or we could dress up as ponies, skipping and giggling. It's just so easy to be sarcastic, isn't it? Okay. With you lot, yeah. We need stuff that normal kids care about, not knitting and kittens. Okay, Clem, got any ideas? Top of my head. Zombie fest. <laughs> half the school dress up as zombies, and the other half have to avoid them. Like an epic game of tag. 
You really think kids are going to pay to do that sort of thing? Trust me, you'll raise more money if you say it's for the kids. Inspirational. In fact, I've got one really important job you could do for me. OK. How would you like to be in charge of the next poster campaign? Like, design the posters, come up with slogans. Yeah, I could do that. Actually, it's more like putting these posters up around the school for me. The washing machine. This is most famous move. I cannot wait to see it live. This is my most famous move. It's called the squeal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Next, um... next. We was just saying we can't wait to go on the trip. We think it's going to be epic. The trip's off. Only you three signed up, and I need ten to fill the minibus. Sorry, guys. Dexter, wait. We can do it for you. Do what? You know the hard sell. We'll fill that minibus for you. There is no way you're going to get to see CJ Watson. How come? Well, people aren't going to sign up to see some boring, educational, sciencey musical thing. I might. Yeah, I mean, normal people. OK, well. Could I interest you in a school theatre trip? No. What if I said there was crazy psycho clowns? As if. Ain't that right, you right? Yeah! At one point, they set themselves on fire, and then there's this wheelbarrow full of walnuts, and then they shatter it with their teeth. Yeah. All right, then. If it's a One Direction tribute show, then why is it called A Bigger Bang? Because it's One Direction, but louder. A Yuga. Yes. Then I'll pass. Shame. It's an educational trip. It cuts towards our grades. Give me that. Clem. school idiot must have taken down all the posters I put up and chucked them in the bin. Some people have really got in for this place. Yeah. Tell me about it. Hey, are you going on this bigger bank trip? What, the theatre show? Yeah. According to Nero Johnson, the proceeds are going towards EFAC. I'd love it if you came. Oh, what? We've been doing this all day and we've only got nine. That's it then. No trick. I... <laughs> yes. Fine. It can go ahead. Great. I'll let Miss Baker know. It can't be just you and Miss Baker. Neither of you are first aiders. I am. You were until you threw the first aid dummy out the first floor window. That was an accident. And burnt down a school. Yeah. Mr Nunn? What? You did a first aid course, didn't you? Why is that, love? You choking on a cake? <laughs> I need you to go on Mr Harris's school oh. trip. Oh, come on. The theatre? I hate all that flouncing about. Men in tights pretending to be swans. That's the ballet. It's the same thing. Tough. You're going. <laughs> You've ruined my evening, Harris. I intend on ruining yours. Whoa! The Phantom Sprayer strikes again. The talentless sprayer, more like. I picked him well, Shabby. They got the right idea, though. The paint's still fresh. I just miss him. Unbelievable. The disrespect some people have for the authorities. Stick it to him, I say. This is the real weapon of the people. Ev, we just got here. Do you think I'm stupid? You don't really want us to answer that. Didn't do this, Squidward. You answered back to Miss Andress. 
Why are you not cleaning off graffiti? We enjoy it, obviously, because Miss Andress thinks we did this. She's cancelled your trip. What? We ain't allowed to go no more, so not enough people. Epic. Cheers, Burton, you massive donkey. It weren't me. You want your trip to go ahead? You try finding the real sprayer. I can do bird noises too. This, this is a, an eagle. Ah! And this is a, a finch. Ah! And this is a, a flamingo. Ah! And this is a. You shouldn't be in here. Exciting, all right? Bingo. This is so humiliating. We're better than this. We're in EFAC. <laughs> We're not in EFAC. Uh, obviously you're not. Me and her are. <gasps> you're in EFAC, as in EFAC, the school addicted creepoids. <laughs> We're not creepoids. You are. I've turned a corner. I love hanging out with all my new EFAC buddies, right, Belle? <laughs> Aww. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a cover, all right? Nothing to do with Carson, then? What? Who? Oh, no. Don't be stupid. I don't like it. Look, I'm just trying to channel the funds away from the poxy teachers into the hands of us lot. That's all. The way you got it all right. What? No, eh? It's just really hot in here. She does like it. I know, she should totally ask him out. That's your big plan? Fingerprints? Yeah. Like CSI Elms, man. We have to get prints of everybody in the school. I know that. I've seen it on TV. But they cover the people's fingers with ink and stuff. Hey, let's start with us. Whoa, what are you, what are you doing? Paint or what just as well. Caught, red-handed, the real culprit is revealed. Whoa, hang on, we were just... Save it. I should have known it was you all along. My office, now. Hey, you filled all the places. It was touch and go, then this casting kid signed up, and then suddenly a whole load of girls were beating down my door. I just turned people away. Clem, hey, are you looking forward to this? Yep, got to love a school trip. <laughs> um, listen, you got a sec? There's, um, someone I wanted to ask. Hi, I'm Carson. I've noticed you around. You're... Don't what? Don't mind us. You two get on with it. Yeah, and hurry up, will you? We've got a One Direction tribute act to throw ourselves at. Phantom sprayer. No, I was trying to prove Clem and the others were innocent so the theatre trip could go ahead. Since when were you interested in educational trips? I'm calling your aunt and your mum. This is such a botch fest. I didn't even do nothing wrong. Out. That wasn't there before. I guess that means I'm off the hook. Yes. You know, Auntie Liz ain't gonna be happy when she hears that you kept me off that educational school trip. It's too late. The minibus will have already gone. You could get me a cab. I'll take you in my car. <laughs> what one direction songs are they gonna do? <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, how disappointed would you be if I said none? Ten being disappointed enough to punch me in the head. You lied to us, didn't you? Would you have come if we hadn't? <laughs> Can't wait to see your faces when the chainsaw clowns come out. Just some stupid science show. Why would there be chainsaw clowns? It may still be good. Okay, guys, it's time. Sorry. Oh, sorry. 
not exactly sold out, is it? Carson. And your name is? Fleur. <laughs> Popcorn? Not you. Well, it was cool to meet you. Flair with the awesome name. Steady on. Give that back. Have you ever heard of Ifak? I'd love it if he came along. That bull of slime. It's all the same lines. He must drop on every girl every time. And I'm such a sucker that I fell for it. Oh, yeah, he's got himself sorted. Slick tongue, charm, and good looks and boom. He's got another girl on the books of his stupid creepo suck up committee. I mean, this guy is not for real, is he? I can't believe what a plum I've been. He was never one bit interested in me. He's got trying hard to be something he's not. I mean, yeah, sure, I was pretending as well to get him to fancy me. I wasn't myself. Um, but that was totally different. That wasn't what this is. This is treason. Low down scheming. Pure evil for no good reason. Some dumb boy trying to toy with girls. He ain't ready for me. I'm gonna end his world. Okay, Carsten, sure, you can play it slick, but just know that you won't get away with it. Shh, I'm trying to listen. <laughs> Don't worry, Harris. Have a jelly snake. Watch as the elliptical disc spins around our heads, around our heads, around our heads. The elliptical disc spins around our heads, around our heads, around our heads. Oh, a boom bitty, a boom bitty, a boom boom boom, a boom boom boom, a boom 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 boom. Like any big show, the Big Bang had a star. In this case, me. Not really. I'm not a star. No kidding, mate. <laughs> the star of the show was Gravity. Now, uh, I'd like a volunteer from the audience. Uh, anybody? You like that version. Mouse! Mouse! Mouse in the haze! Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Nobody said on it. Right, everybody, just calm down. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. My mistake. It was a mouse, it was Owen. Ah, I think we have our volunteer. Uh, no, 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 no. Come uh, up on stage, don't be shy. <laughs> and the finishing touch. I look stupid. You're my assistant, not a fashion model. From now on, I shall call you <laughs> Igor. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the star of the show, Gravity! I liked it first when you slipped over and pretended to hurt yourself. 
I did hurt myself. Good, saves me the job. Igor, just wanted to say thanks for your help. You were brilliant. Yeah, brilliant embarrassment. Jim, May, how'd your show go? Yeah, good. Had a bit of help, though. Whoa, wait, you know CJ Dean? Uh, we go back. Seriously, man, you're the only reason I'm here. I was going to skip his show to come and see you. Sorry you missed me. Hey, I'll put you on my guest list next time I'm in town, yeah? For real? I I'm a dancer, too. I've got, like, millions of questions. Fire away. Result. I want a word. What? What you're teaching is completely inaccurate. It's just a bit of fun. <laughs> Try telling that to Robert Gross test. Who? Or Vesto Slifer. Who, sorry? You don't know who Vesto Slifer is? No. Right. Good. Fancy a pizza? I thought you'd never ask. So, girls, I'll see you at EFAC tomorrow then. <laughs> uh, no. You lot are well weird. How about that, Carson? Your flirting doesn't work on everyone. Flirting? I don't know what oh, you. Give over. You trick girls into thinking you fancy them so they can sign up to EFAC. Look, I'm friendly, okay? Maybe a little bit too friendly for someone as good looking as me. But all I'm trying to do is help the school. Modest much? You used us. For the greater good. Okay, girls, here's an idea. How about we all go and grab a burger and we can just talk about this? I got a better idea. Oi! Albie! What was that well important thing you're on about? Oh, yeah. Gravity. Oh. <laughs> Detention! <laughs> totally worth it. <laughs> With them. And you can't get them out When you're up there, rub it in your face Kick you when you're down But when no one understands them You know what they're on about Always gonna be around Gotta find a common ground If you know so much about me Where do I go from here? If you see them every day You can never get away Only time that you're the boss Walk up